Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you guys how to crochet a breeze cardi. It's fairly cute, fairly easy to make, and it's perfect for spring, summer, and fall. Okay, and I also have free written pattern for size extra small, go up to double XL. It's available on my blog. But if you prefer PDF, pinnable version, it's available for purchase on my Etsy shop and my library store. And for this tutorial, I will show you inside small. And it's going to be the part one. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Here is the materials that I use for this project. So first of all, I want to say thank you to my friend, Chi. She sent me this yarn. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and yeah, this is what I use. Shifty sun kiss. So this is uh, fingering weight yarn, super fine number one. Okay. So for the size small, I use uh, seven skins, but not the whole seven skin. This is the uh, seventh skin, and this is what I have left. And of course, every sizes are different. Okay. And this is one hundred percent cotton. And here is the color, Silo 2, okay, and then crochet hook, size 3.5 millimeters, scissors, your needle, and stitch markers. And please go check in description below for more details. Okay, let's talk about the pattern a little bit here. So, for this cardi, you're going to make five separate pieces, okay, and then sew them together later. And uh, we have a back panel here, and then two front panels make exactly the same, and then two sleeve panels and make exactly the same, okay. So, all of these panels is the same pattern, okay, it's just uh, different with the chain when you start because it's a different length, different width, okay? So other than that, it's the same pattern. So I talk about the back panel first. So for the back panel, so we will start the back panel first and we're gonna chain and the chain that we make gonna be the width of the cardi. The width across, okay? Not around, across back, okay? And then the row that we make gonna be the length of the cardi, okay? If you want longer, keep repeating more rows. If you want shorter, make less row. Totally up to you. And when we finish the back panel, we cut the yarn. Don't need to leave a long tail for the back panel. And then we come back to the front panel. And then also the front panel, we're gonna make the chain so for the back panel, let's say we make, uh, just put in, okay? Let's say we make a uh, 100 chain. We want the front panel is uh, half of that. So 100 uh, divided by two, like that. So we want that number to be the, uh, the width of the front panel because we're gonna make two separate like this. Okay, when you lay out like this, you want the same width of the back panel. Alright, no space in the middle. That's what I designed this pattern to be. So yeah, anyway, it's the same pattern. Chain here and then keep repeating row over and over. But we want the length for the front panel to be the same length at the back panel. Okay, and after you're done, you're going to leave a long tail for the front panel to sew the front panel into the back panel. So both make the same for this two front panel. Make exactly the same, okay? And after that, we're gonna make the sleeve. And the sleeve, start make from here, the chain. And I will tell you exactly how many chain you need to make. And it's the same pattern again. And you're gonna repeat that over and over. And then the more rows you make, gonna be the more long of your sleeve. Again, if you want longer sleeve, keep repeating more row. If you want shorter, make less row. And then at the end, you're gonna leave a long tail again. 
so you can use that tail to sew into the back and the front panel later here okay and make two exactly the same and when you have all the pieces you're gonna put the back panel and then the front panels lay like this and then you're gonna use the long tail that you left earlier for the front panels so the shoulder seam right here so sew the back and the front panel together like this on the wrong side okay and then after that you will put the sleeve here right on the middle of the shoulder seam here and then use the long tail that you left earlier so into that piece all right and again for the sleeve i'm not increase or decrease it's straight sleeve okay and after you sew everything you're gonna fold it in half like this Okay, and then the sleeve should be like this. Okay, and then after that, you're gonna cut a new strand of yarn along a long uh, tail. So enough to sew the side of the cardi and then the sleeve down to the cuff here. Okay, same at this side. So from the bottom here, Cut the new strand of yarn all the way up, sew all the way up till you reach the armpit and sew all the way down till you reach the end of the sleeve. Both sides sew the same and we will sew on the wrong side, alright? And yeah, that's it. It's very easy. And for this tutorial, I will show you how to make all the pieces, okay? Which is going to be the part one and then for the part two, I will show you how to sew all the pieces together. All right, and for the measurement, the width from here or to here, which is a cloth, okay, not around, a cloth back, is 17.33 inches width. And then the length from here all the way up here is 28 inches long. Again, this is for size small. If you want to see uh, different sizes and also free written pattern for extra small 2 double XL, it's available on my blog for free. Uh, please go check it out and you will see your size and your own measurement. All right. And I will put the link in the description below for everything that you need. All right. And then before we start, next we're going to talk about the... Uh, swatch first okay okay let's talk about the gauge so I recommend you guys to make a gauge swatch first okay and then block it so you can block it by using a iron with the low heat or you can steam it or you can watch it with the uh, warm water okay so for me I just watch it with the uh, warm water and let it sit let it dry and then I measure the gauge so this one I already watch it okay so I will show you what is my gauge okay I will use measuring tape to show you better to see than this one okay so we're gonna talk about the uh, stitch pattern repeat first which is gonna be the width of your project okay so six stitch pattern repeat is equal four inches so one pattern repeat is three double crochet and one chain that is one pattern stitch repeat so six of those is four inches all right i show you how i measure it so you can measure anywhere you like i'm gonna measure right here so you see this chain one here and three double crochet that is the first stitch pattern repeat and chain one three double crochet that is the second stitch pattern repeat chain one three double crochet that is the third pattern stitch repeat chain one three double crochet that is the fourth pattern stitch repeat chain one three double crochet that is the fifth pattern stitch repeat 
and chain one, three double crochet. That is the six pattern stitch repeat. Okay, so see, six stitch pattern repeat is equal four inches. All right, and then for the row, so for the row is five set of pattern row repeat equal four inches. So one set is have two row, which is the uh, chain row here. You see the chain row here before we make a double crochet? I'm just going to move double crochet this way a little bit <laughs> so you can see. As you can see here, the chain row, okay, that row and then the double crochet row. That is one set, it's have two row in there. So five sets of that is four inches. So five set have 10 rows in there, okay? Because one set have two rows. I'll show you how I measure it. So measure anywhere you like. Okay, I'm gonna measure right here and I hope you can see good. Okay, so see, this is the, the chain row and then the double crochet row. That is the one set. Okay, it's have two row in there. So one set of pattern row repeat, the first set, sorry. And then the chain row and double crochet row, that is the second set of pattern row repeat. Chain row, double crochet row, that is the third pattern row repeat chain row, double crochet row, that is the fourth pattern row repeat, chain row, double crochet row, that is the fifth pattern row repeat. Okay, so as you can see here, five sets of pattern row repeat equal four inches. So in five sets, it have ten rows in total. Okay, I hope I make sense. I hope uh, you understand or I explain and yeah, it really helps if you know how uh, to measure the gauge and it's, it's very important for when you make sweater, top, short or thing like that, okay? And yeah, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna make a back panel first and then to start off, I'm gonna make a slip knot. And then for this pattern is multiple of four plus one. Okay? If you don't know what is multiple of four plus one, you're gonna make four chain, four chain, four chain, four chain, four chain, till you have your desired width. And then at the end, you're gonna add one more chain. That is multiple of four plus one. Okay? So for me, for size small, I make uh, 105 chain that is multiple of 4 plus 1 all right and for the all the panels uh, the front panels the sleeve panels and then the back panel are the same multiple of 4 plus 1 all right so this one is back panel first so like I said I gonna make 105 chains so 1 2 3 four five okay keep making the chain and I will be back when I have 105 chains make sure I don't make your chain too tight okay now I have 105 chains that's what it look like and then for row one gonna be the right side for the art number row gonna be the right side and for the even number row gonna be the wrong side okay so row one right side and then I gonna skip three chain stitch and then make one double crochet into each of next two chain all right so I skip one two and three and then into the next which is the fourth chain from the hook I gonna make one double crochet in there and I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch but if you prefer go into the normal chain stitch you can do that as well this is up to you, okay? So I'm gonna yarn over, skip three, insert the hook into the next, which is the fourth chain. Like I said, I go into the little bump here on the back of the chain. A little difficult the first time. <laughs> okay, insert the hook, 
put our loop three loops on my hook I'm gonna yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over pull through the last two loops this is the double crochet and the first three chain that we skip is count as one double crochet so now I have two double crochet okay and then I'm gonna make one double crochet into the next chain here so yarn over insert the hook into the next chain again I go into the little bump on the back of the next chain here like so pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. I have three double crochet now. And next, gonna start the start the repeat pattern. Okay, not this one. This one not repeat yet. Okay, so I gonna chain one and skip next chain and make one double crochet into each of next three chain. So I yarn over, skip one chain here. And insert the hook into the next chain and make a double crochet oops sorry okay pull up a loop here I have three loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and then double crochet into the next yarn over insert the hook into the next pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and then double crochet into the next so yarn over insert the hook into the next chain pull up a loop yarn over put through two loops yarn over put through two loops this is the repeat so the repeat is gonna be chain one skip one chain one double crochet into each of next three chain that is the uh, repeat the repeat pattern okay so yeah gonna chain one and skip the next chain and make one double crochet into each of next three chain so yarn over skip the next chain insert the hook into the next and make a double crochet okay and double crochet into the next and then double crochet into the next oops okay and then repeat that chain one skip the next chain one double crochet into each of next three chain so yarn over skip the next insert the hook into the next oops and make a double crochet and then double crochet into the next it's a little bit difficult to go into the little bump of the chain but it look good so okay and make a double crochet and then double crochet into the next right here okay and then I just gonna repeat that okay and the reason I insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch is give me very nice edge here that's what I like okay like I said, whatever you prefer, go into the normal chain or go into the little bump. Alright, and I'm going to keep repeating this. And next, I'm going to chain one. Okay, and skip one chain and one double crochet into each of next three chain. And repeat that, chain one, skip one chain, one double crochet into each of next three chain. Repeat that till the end. And then at the end, you will end up with three double crochet all right and then I will be back I'm at the end of row one here and you should end up with three double crochet at the end okay and at the end of row one I have 26 groups of the double crochet stitches and then 25 one chain space I show you how to count it okay the uh, three double crochet here is count as one group okay I'm gonna count the double crochet group first so this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. Okay? I have 26 groups of the double crochet stitches and next I'm gonna count the one chain space 
so this one right here okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, I have 25, one chain space. So, for row two, gonna be the wrong side. I gonna chain one and turn. You can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then the chain one doesn't count at a stitch. And then we're gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch right here. So I insert the hook into the first stitch here, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. This is the uh, single crochet. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And one single crochet into the one chain space. Okay, remember when we make row one, we have chain one space, chain one space, chain one space. And we're going to single crochet into that uh, next chain one space right here. Okay, and then chain three, one, two, and three. One single crochet into the next chain one space here. Okay, just repeat that. Chain three, one, two, and three. One single crochet into the next chain one space right here. Repeat that. Chain three, one, two, and three. One single crochet into the next chain one space right here. Okay, just repeat the same. Chain three, one single crochet into the next chain one space. All right, you're just gonna keep repeating this. Next, you're gonna chain three and then single crochet into the one chain space. Chain three, one single crochet into the one chain space. Chain three, one single crochet into the one chain space. All the way down till you reach the end. And then for the last single crochet, you're gonna make into the third chain. But don't worry, when you reach this, uh, the last chain one space here, and I will be back. I will show you how you can finish uh, row two, okay? Okay, I have one uh, repeat pattern left right here. Okay, and next I'm gonna chain three. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to make the last single crochet into the third chain. Okay? To lock the pattern to straight the panel. Okay? So if you're not sure where is the last single crochet that I'm going to insert the hook into, which is the third chain, you can uh, turn to the row one as well, and then you count the chain. So here is the first chain second chain and third chain here you're gonna make the last single crochet into the third chain all right turn and then after a chain three i'm gonna make one single crochet into the third chain that is the last stitch oops sorry okay and then single crochet all right and then the end of row two i have um, 26 three chain space okay so I can show you how I count as well so this one three chain space two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. All right. And then for row three, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. Or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And then the first three chain count as one double crochet, okay? And then I'm going to make two double crochet into the first three chain space here. And then include the first three chain, it'll be three double crochet. All right, so I yarn over, insert the hook into the first three chain space here, pull up a loop, 
yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and then make one more double crochet into the same chain space so yarn over insert the hook into the same chain space and make a double crochet see I have three double crochet here in close the first three chain all right and then next gonna be start the repeat pattern which is chain one and three double crochet into the next three chain space here yarn over insert the hook into the next three chain space make double crochet yarn over insert the hook into the same chain space pull up a loop and make a double crochet and then yarn over insert the hook into the same chain space pull up a loop and make a double crochet see now I have three double crochet and we're gonna repeat that chain one three double crochet into the next uh, three chain space that is the repeat okay chain one three double crochet into the next three chain space so one two and three and repeat that chain one three double crochet into the next three chain space this is the pattern repeat very easy okay and then again repeat chain one three double crochet into the next three chain space really easy guys I'm sure you can do that okay and you're gonna keep repeating that so next I'm gonna chain one and make three double crochet into the next three chain space and chain one three double crochet into the next three chain space chain one three double crochet into the next three chain space all the way down here all right and then I will meet you guys back in when you have the last three chain space left all right okay now I have one three chain space left okay and then after I make chain one here and then I'm gonna make two double crochet into that three chain space so yarn over insert the hook into the three chain space and make double crochet and then yarn over insert the hook into the same space and make a double crochet and then I'm gonna make one double crochet into the single crochet stitch here just to make the panel straight okay so yarn over insert the hook into the single crochet here right here and make a last double crochet so see we have three double crochet in here all right and then the end of row three I have 26 of double crochet groups and 25 of the one chain space you count the same when you count the row one okay and then I gonna repeat row two and three 33 more times okay if you want shorter you repeat less than that and if you want longer keep repeating row two and three until you have your desired length okay for me I gonna repeat row two and three 33 more times like I told you earlier uh, this pattern is two row repeat which is row two and three you're gonna repeat row two and three, two and three, two and three, over and over, all right? And I will show you one more time of the pattern row repeat, which is row four and five, okay? So for row four, I'm gonna repeat row two, which is chain one, never count at a stitch and turn, and then make one single crochet into the very first stitch right here this is row four okay and then chain three one two and three single crochet into the one chain space okay chain three one two three one single crochet into one chain space chain three one two and three one single crochet into the one chain space see we make it same as row two exactly the same and then you're gonna repeating that chain three single crochet into the chain one space 
chain three, single crochet into the one chain space over and over until you reach the end and then for the last single crochet you're gonna make into the third chain all right and i will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of row four okay i'm at the end of row four here and like i told you we're gonna make a last single crochet into the third chain okay so now i already make three chain here and then i'm gonna make the last single crochet into the third chain right here so here is the first chain here is the second chain and here is the third chain so i insert my hook into the third chain pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through that's what it look like okay and then row five we repeat row three i show you again i'm gonna chain three one two and three always count as one double crochet and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then we're gonna make two double crochet into the first three chain space here Include the first three chain it'll be three double crochet okay so i yarn over insert the hook into the first three chain space and make double crochet and then make a double crochet into the same chain space that's what it look like and then chain one and make three double crochet into the next three chain space here one two and three and repeat that chain one and make three double crochet into the next three chain space see if we make the same as row three exactly the same all right chain one three double crochet into the next three chain space it's very easy all right see and then next you're just gonna repeat that chain one three double crochet into the next three chain space chain one three double crochet into the next three chain space all the way down till you reach the end okay and then i will be back when you reach the last three chain space okay now i have one three chain space left and after i chain one here i gonna make two double crochet into the last three chain space one and two and then make one double crochet into the dub, uh sorry uh one double crochet into the single crochet stitch here make the same as row three okay make last double crochet that's what it look like all right i think you get it now <laughs> all right so I'm going to repeat row 2 and 3, 32 more times. And I will have a total of 69 rows from row 1 here, okay? Count from the row 1 and I will have 69 rows after I repeat row 2 and 3, 32 more times. And like I said, if you want longer, keep repeating row 2 and 3 over and over until you have your desired length. And if you want shorter, you will repeat row two and row three less than i made all right and yeah good luck and i will be back when i reach the end of row 69 okay after i repeat row two and three 33 more times and i will have 69 rows so here is the end of row 69 that's what this look like okay and then after that i just gonna cut the yarn and for the back panel you don't need to leave a long tail okay we just gonna leave a long tail in the uh, front panels so i just cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end later okay after i cut the yarn i just gonna pull the yarn out like this and i will weave this in later and we're done with the back panel okay it's very long <laughs> see show you here all right and next we're gonna make the front panels okay for the front panel i already make one because we're gonna make two exactly the same okay we will start right here and crochet back and forth it's the same pattern uh, when we make the back panel 
but we just make less chain okay and it's pretty long okay and then the same length of the back panel and then at the end of the front panels we're gonna leave a tail leave a long tail just enough to sew the front to the back panel right here at the shoulder okay and yeah make two exactly the same let's get started okay to start the front panels I gonna make a slip knot first and then I gonna chain 53 so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I gonna keep making the chain till I have fifty three chains, and I will be back. And make sure to make your chain loosely. Okay. Okay, I have fifty three chain here, and then for row one, gonna be the right side. For the odd number row, gonna be the right side, and for the even number row, gonna be the wrong side. Okay, so row one. The right side. I gonna skip three chains and then make one double crochet into the next two chain. So I can skip one, two, and three. Okay, and then into the next chain, I gonna make one double crochet. But I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain. And if you prefer go into the normal chain, you can do that as well. Whatever you prefer. Alright, so this is the fourth chain. I'm gonna make a double crochet. So I yarn over, I skip three chain here, and then I insert the hook into the next chain, which is the fourth chain from hook. I insert into the little bump on the back. Put up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. Okay, and then for the first three chain, we count as one double crochet. And now I have two double crochet. Okay. And then I'm going to make one double crochet into the next chain. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. And again, I go into the little bump on the back of the chain. Pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, put through two loops, and then yarn over, put through two loops. Now I have three double crochet. And next, chain one, and skip one chain. And make one double crochet into each of next three chain stitch. So I yarn over, skip one chain, and make one double crochet into the next. I insert into the little bump again. Okay, and one double crochet into the next chain. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. And then one double crochet into the next chain. Okay, and then you're gonna repeat chain one, skip one chain, one double crochet into each of next three chain, like that. Okay, the same as the back uh, panel pattern, same pattern. Okay, so I chain one, see, I repeat here, and then skip one chain, one double crochet into each of next three chain. So yarn over, skip the next chain, and make double crochet into the next. And then double crochet into the next. And then double crochet into the next. Oops. Oops. Okay. Okay. And then repeat that again. Chain one. Skip one chain. One double crochet into each of next three chain. So yarn over. Skip the next chain. And make a uh, double crochet into the next. And then double crochet into the next. And then double crochet into the next. Okay, and you're gonna keep repeating this. Chain one, skip one chain, one double crochet into each of the next three chain. All the way down to the end. And like I said, it's the same as the back panel pattern. So if you make the back uh, panel already, of course, you know how to make this front panel, all right? And yeah, keep repeating this till you reach the end and I will be back. Okay, I'm at the end of row one here and you should end up with three double crochet at the end, all right? So for the end of row one, I have 13 groups of the double crochet stitches and 12 one chain space. 
Again, this is size small, all right? And yeah, for row two, I can chain one and turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then the chain one doesn't count at a stitch. And we're gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch right here. Okay, so insert the hook into the first stitch here. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. This is the single crochet. And then we're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. And make one single crochet into the one chain space right here. Insert the hook into the one chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. And then chain three. One, two, three. And one single crochet into the one chain space here. And repeat that. Chain three. One, two, and three. One single crochet into the one chain space here. It's the same as the back panel pattern. Chain three. One single crochet into the one chain space. Okay, you're gonna keep repeating that. Chain three, one single crochet into the one chain space. Chain three, one single crochet into the one chain space. All the way to the end. And then for the last single crochet, you're gonna make into the third chain. Okay, don't worry, I will show you. Okay, now I have one group left, one repeat left. Okay, and then next, I'm gonna chain three. One, two, and three. And for the last single crochet, we're going to make into the third chain. Okay, right here. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. This is the last um, single crochet. And the end of row two, I have 13 three chain space. And then for row three, we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Count as one double crochet and then turn, or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then into the first three chain space, we're gonna make two double crochet in there. And include the first three chain, it'll be three double crochet, okay? So I yarn over, insert the hook into the first three chain space here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. Okay, one more. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same chain space. Pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops. See? Now we have three double crochet here. Alright? And then I'm gonna chain one. And then make three double crochet into the next three chain space here. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next three chain space and make a double crochet. Okay? And then yarn over, insert the hook into the same space. Pull up a loop and make a double crochet. And then yarn over, insert the hook into the same chain space, pull up a loop and make a double crochet. Now we have three, like that. And then we're gonna repeat chain one and three double crochet into the next three chain space. So, this one, two, and three, like that. Repeat. Chain one, three double crochet into the next three chain space. One, two, and three. See, the same pattern as the back panel. Make the same. Show you one more time. I chain one and make three double crochet into the next three chain space. One, two, one, two, and three. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating that. Next, I'm gonna chain one and make three double crochet into the next three chain space. Chain one, make three double crochet into the next three chain space all the way down to the end. And for the last double crochet, we're gonna make into the single crochet stitch. Okay, don't worry. And at the end, at the last uh, chain space, I will be back. Okay, now I have one space left and i show you how to do that. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that, but I'm gonna show anyway, okay? So after I chain one here, I'm gonna make two double crochet into the next three chain space here, which is the last space. So one and two. And then 
make one double crochet into the single crochet stitch here right here so I yarn over insert the hook into the single crochet stitch right here and make a double crochet to lock the uh, pattern <laughs> all right okay and I gonna repeat row 2 and 3 33 more times total of 69 rows and whatever number of row that you make for the back panel you want the front panel the same length okay yeah for my back panel I make total of 69 rows so for my front panel I will make total of 69 rows which is 33 more time repeat row 2 and 3 okay so I show you again row uh, row 4 we repeat row 2 which is chain 1 and turn and single crochet into the first stitch okay and chain 3 1 2 and 3 single crochet into the chain 1 space here and chain 3 1 2 3 and single crochet into the uh, chain 1 space like so chain 3 single crochet into the chain 1 space like that okay just repeat the same pattern all right so this is row 4 you're gonna keep repeating that to the end and then for the last single crochet you're gonna make into the third chain okay just to lock the uh, pattern here to lock the panel <laughs> to make it straight all right after that after you make uh, one single crochet into the third chain and then you're gonna turn gonna be the row five you're gonna repeat row three like I said you're gonna make the same as the back panel if you make the back panel already of course you know how to make the front panel all right and yeah I'm gonna repeat row two and three 33 more times and I will have total of 69 rows and then I will be back when I reach the end of row 69 and good luck okay after I repeat row 2 and 3 33 more times and I have 69 rows now see from here all the way up I have 69 rows and this is the end of row 69 I already cut the yarn I leave a long tail about um, 16 to 18 inches just enough to sew the front panel here into the back panel all right and I already cut my yarn here after that I just gonna pull this loop pull the yarn out like so and I'm done with the front panels and you need two of this so I have one here and one right here exactly the same see exactly the same and then leave a long tail at the end the same right here all right and after you have your two front panels and next we're gonna make the uh, sleeves okay for the sleeve I already make one because we're gonna make two exactly the same it's the same pattern that we make uh, the back and the front panels same pattern okay so start make the chain from here and then the chain that we make gonna be the width that will go around the arm okay around your arm so this I start here right so this is the width and make sure the width that will go around your arm like this okay and also on top here too oops like that okay <laughs> yeah anyway and yeah go check the written pattern if you would like to see different sizes and yeah after we have the chain and we're gonna crochet back and forth back and forth and I will tell you exactly how many rows that I made and then at the end I will leave a long tail for sewing the sleeve into the back and the front panel all right and yeah let's get started okay to start I'm gonna make slip knot and then like I told you it's the same pattern when we make the front and the back panel so this 
also multiple of 4 plus 1, okay? So I'm going to make 57 chains for size small, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I will be back when I have 57 chains. Now I have 57 chains, and then for row 1, going to be the right side. So again, for the uh, art number row, going to be the right side, and for the even number row, going to be the wrong side. So row 1, I'm going to skip 3 chains. So 1, 2, and 3, and then make 1 double crochet into the next 2 chain. Okay? And I'm going to yarn over, insert the hook into the 4th chain from the hook. Alright, skip 3. And I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain. Right here. Make a double crochet. And again, the first three chain count as one double crochet. And now I have two double crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to yarn over and then insert my hook into the next chain and make a double crochet. And then chain one. Skip next chain and make one double crochet into the next three chain. So yarn over, skip the next chain, insert the hook into the next, and make a double crochet. And then double crochet into the next. And then double crochet into the next. Oops. And then chain one, skip next chain, one double crochet into the next three chain. So yarn over, skip the next, insert the hook into the next chain, and make double crochet. And then double crochet into the next chain. And then double crochet into the next chain. Okay. Alright, you're gonna repeat that. Next, you're gonna chain one, skip next chain, one double crochet into the next three chain. And then chain one, skip next chain, one double crochet into the next three chain until you reach the end. And then you should end up with three double crochet. It's the same pattern when you make the front and the back panels. So I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of row one. Okay, now I reach the end of row one. And I have 14 groups of the double crochet stitches. And then 13 one chain space. Okay, so for row two. I'm going to chain 1 and turn the chain 1, never count it a stitch, and then make one single crochet into the first stitch right here. Okay, and chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. And make one single crochet into the chain 1 space right here. And then chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. One single crochet into the uh, one chain space. Chain 3, 1 single crochet into the 1 chain space. Okay, you're going to keep repeating that. Next, you're going to chain 3, and then make 1 single crochet into the chain 1 space. Chain 3, 1 single crochet into the chain 1 space. All the way down, and when you reach the end, you're going to make 1 single crochet into the third chain. Okay, and I will show you guys how to do that. Okay, now... I reach the end of row 2 here and after I make 3 chain and I'm going to make a single crochet into the third chain. The last single crochet, okay? Here is the third chain. Right here. Alright, and the end of row 2 I have 14 3 chain spaces. Alright, and for row 3 I'm going to chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. And then count as one double crochet and turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then I'm going to make two double crochet into the first three chain space here. Include the first three chain, it'll be three double crochet in here. Alright. So I yarn over, insert the hook into the first three chain and make a double crochet. And then one more double crochet into the same chain space. See? I have three double crochet here. And chain one and make three double crochet into the next three chain space. Three, okay, and chain one, three double crochet into the next three chain space. All 
Okay, you're gonna repeat that. Next, you're gonna chain one and make three double crochet into the next three chain space. Chain one, three double crochet into the next three chain space. All the way down to the end. And I will meet you guys back in when you reach the last three chain space. Okay, now I have one three chain space left. And after I chain one here, I'm gonna make two double crochet into the last three chain space. One and two. And then one double crochet into the single crochet stitch right here. All right. See, very easy. And then the end of row three, I have uh, 14 groups of the double crochet stitches. And yeah, see, it's the same pattern when you make the front and the back panel. All right. And then I can now repeat row two and three 20 more times. And I will have total of 43 rows. Start count from the first row here. Okay, and I will have 43 rows. And that's what I like for the length of my sleeve. Okay, but if you want longer sleeve, you keep repeating row 2 and 3 more than 20 more times. And if you want shorter, you repeat row 2 and 3 less than 20 more times. Alright, and yeah. For me, I can now repeat row 2 and 3 20 more times and I will have 43 rows in total. Alright, so next row 4, you're going to repeat row 2. Row 5, you repeat row 3 like that, okay? 2 and 3, 2 and 3, 2 and 3. Over and over. And yeah, good luck and I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row 43. Okay, now after I repeat row 2 and 3 20 more times and I have total of 43 rows from the uh, row 1 here all the way up here I have 43 rows and here is the end of row 43 and after that I cut the yarn and I leave a long tail uh, just enough to sew the sleeve into the back and the front panel. Okay, so I already cut my yarn here. I leave about um 20 22 inches long for the tail okay and after i cut the tail i'm gonna pull this loop out and we done okay so you need two of this two of the sleep panel and then you're gonna leave a long tail exactly the same everything the same so I have two already here everything the same and next we're gonna sew all the pieces together and I will show you guys in the part two okay and yeah I will see you then